Installing and Using a Timer. In this fourth segment in our series, we address the use of the optional timer in our TLS-100-UNV landscape lighting transformer system. The video is in two sections. The first section, we look at how the timer interacts with the transformer electrically. And in the second section, how to install, troubleshoot, and set the timer. Let's get started right away. In this first section, we look at how the timer interacts with the transformer electrically. So this transformer is plugged in. It's plugged into this extension cord. And I know there's power flowing into this box because the input indicator light is on. And that tells us that we have power moving in. So if I was to take a look at maybe a drawing of how this looks, we have the power coming into the transformer box at 120 volts. We know that because the little light up in the top left corner is on. So it's coming in the box and in the middle of the box roughly is the socket. So there's actually 120 volts right there. That's the socket in this box. So right now it's really not doing much um, because this wire, this plug actually goes to the transformer that's also inside the box. And there's a little transformer in there and we're going to send the power to the transformer. Let's try it without the timer. So I'm going to plug it in here in the middle. The second light comes on, which is my indicator light. So there's 12 volts being produced. So 120 volts coming in, hits the socket. We put the plug in the socket here and 12 volts are being produced inside the transformer. Now, let's take a look at the timer itself. I have one right here. I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to plug it into the timer somewhere here. There we go. I'm going to plug the timer into the socket. Oh, if you notice, the output light went out. That's because we're not sending power to the internal transformer at all. So let me plug this in here. And timer's plugged in. Timer's uh, working, but still no output. That's because the timer is off. So rotate it until the timer comes on. Now we have output. So now this is allowing us, this timer is a 120 volt timer. It is allowing us to send the 120 volts, which is right here, into the transformer coil inside the box. So now that's working. And the second light, the output light is on, which tells us that down below here in our little terminal bus thing here, we have 12 volts. Now, if we connect our lead wire going out to our light fixtures, and that would be maybe like this. Here's maybe a path light and it's on, and another path light and it's on, and maybe a spotlight and it's doing its thing, all 12 volts or possibly 15, and we do have a separate video on the 15 volts. So this is how it looks um, and how it looks electrically. It's really very, very simple. We're kind of all about simple. So let me now take you to section two, and let's look at how to install, set the timer, and some other important um, points. In this first section, we look at how the timer interacts with the transformer electrically. And I've made a little very simple flow chart. So let's take a look at the flow chart and let's just do it. Your transformer is gonna plug in hopefully to a GFI on the side outside of your home that supplies 120 volts. You can also plug it in the garage and run your load wires outside. So in this demonstration, I have it plugged into an extension cord. And so I have 120 volts coming to the socket here inside the transformer. When it comes to the socket, a little light goes on and tells you that you're good to go. It's very simple. Then take your timer, and we use this one here, and there's more on the timer later in the second video. Um, we plug the unit into the timer. We plug the timer into the socket. So the timer's in place. It's still 120 volts. The timer, when it's on, is putting 120 volts on, um, and it's coming down to the transformer. I'm gonna turn this on. So now the second light is on. What's telling me now is the timer is sending power up to the transformer. The transformer is producing 12 volts. It's hitting this indicator light at 12 volts and is coming down to your terminal strip again at 12 volts. From your terminal strip, you're going out into the field with your load wire and your fixtures out in the field are also 12 volts. That's how simple this is. So in the previous section, you saw me install the timer and how simple it was. Now, we went kind of looking for some other timers. 
This is the timer that we offer as an option. It's an Intermatic timer. It's been around forever and people love it because it just works. It lasts for a long time. Eventually it will fail because it's a mechanical device. Um, we found this timer at Home Depot. Actually, we found them both there. It was for $6. The problem with some of the less expensive, low-end, no-name timers is they don't fit well uh, in the transformer. They end up crowding, crowding things in. If you notice the plug here on this one is on the other side. So now you're plugging in here and now you have to put this this way and it's kind of backwards because a lot of manufacturers of timers just don't really pay attention to this stuff. Intermatic does. And these are actually very inexpensive. Here's an old timer we found and um, it actually does work and does plug in properly, but it really gets cramped for space. And we did get it to work. Um, while I'm here talking about timers, the Intermatic timer has little pins that move out and you can pull them out and put them where you want. So one pin will turn it on and there's instructions here on the top. It'll run, the second pin will shut it off. So in this configuration, it's on, it stays on, it goes off here at the red, it comes on here at the, the green, goes off here at the red. So you may only need two pegs if you want it to just come on once at night and then go off again. So we really like this. It's a great little workhorse timer. Um, I strongly suggest you take a look at it. So there's kind of these two types. And on the second one, it actually, you have to push all the pins in when you want the timer to be on and leave all the pins out when you want it to be off. We have had people, and I'm gonna show this to you because it's important. When setting timers, these two timers are very different. You can't say, well, I want the lights to come on at five and go off at 10, 30 here. Okay, that's not gonna work. Here, let me push that in. It's tiny here, there we go. Um, you gotta have all these pushed down or it'll just come on and go right off. You won't even know that it happened. So different kind of timer setups. Really, this is the best way to go um, all the way. So let's say you have your timer in. Everything's working, but there's no lights coming on. We have a couple of possibilities. Um, there's a short out in the field, and if there's a short in the field, there's a good chance the breaker down here will pop out. Not all the way out, it'll just pop out a little bit. And when you press it back in, it may wait a while and pop back out again. So what really needs to happen here um, to test everything is you need to get onto the terminal bus down here. Loosen the screws. Please don't take them out. Take your load wires out. Here they are going out to the field. Then test your transformer. Make sure both lights are on. And you can kind of work backwards here too. Well, let's say the indicator light is not on. All right, the timer could be off or the timer could be defective. So remove the variable and plug it directly in, bypassing the timer completely. Look for both of the outputs to be there. If neither of them are on, there's a good chance there's no power coming to the unit at all. So please check those things out. Really simple and pretty important. In the next video segment, where we talk about the photo cell, we address the relationship and the use of a timer and how they work together. We show a diagram of the electrical circuit so you can understand how it can work for you. Make sure you see that video if you're planning to add a photo cell to the unit. And if you'd like to find the specifications, all the other videos, and how to test, install, all the options, and everything you need to know about our transformer, as well as how to put your entire system together, please follow this link. Together, we can make your property magical. We're a small family business and hope that no matter where you shop, you consider buying from a small business. We are Total Lighting Supply and we know lighting. We've been doing it for 30 years plus. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask us. Use this email address for quick communication. Support at TotalLightingSupply.com
We answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. However, if you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see it. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website. See the product description on our website for important details, as well as updates and specifications. Also, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new product information. We offer information such as this video and a level of service you will not find anywhere else. Consider using us for your project needs. All of us at Total Lighting Supply hope to hear from you soon.